The amount of printing done in libraries has been falling exponentially for a number of years now. It is at the point where cost recovery of the printing equipment is not going to happen anymore. The volume of printing is not enough to generate the income needed. G-Scan to PDF is a free program that runs on the free operating system called Linux. I will demonstrate this program running on Ubuntu Linux 11.04. The computer has 2 gigabytes of RAM and the printer-scanner combination I'm using costs well under $200. You will also see the program Unpaper in action. Unpaper runs in conjunction with G-Scan to PDF to remove the black borders. Watch carefully. Blink and you'll miss it. There it was. Okay then, that is pretty cool. Now one thing you have to be cautious of is that when you get this black uh, bar between two pages of a book, the sometimes it creeps into the text. And if it does, the program will remove the text along with the rest of the black. So you'll have to adjust the brightness or the contrast of the uh, scanner or even the, uh, the software to adjust for that. Sometimes you can't win. You just get, you end up with those um, black bars down the gutter and it ruins everything. And you'll just have to scan normally. But I think this is a much preferred uh, copy for people to receive. Um, I've always preferred uh, getting photocopies without the black border. You may want to ask people to scan first and then print to save money on toner. That's up to you. So how did I do that? Well, we just click on this icon here. It brings up this uh, box. And you go to Geometry and you select the paper for your region. You go to Mode and if you're photocopying or scanning from a book, you would select Flatbed. This program also handles document feeders. Depending which kind you have, you can select. More on that later. And Page Options. When you're sc uh, scanning from the flatbed, you want to check clean up images. That is the uh, way you activate unpaper to remove the black edges around the, uh, the page. Now, supposing you were going to use the automatic paper feeder. Let's just select that now. Then you go back to Page Options and you uncheck Clean Up Images. That's because with an automatic document feeder there will be no black edges. And it takes up quite a bit of power to uh, clean up those images and it will just cause things to go screwy when you're doing multiple pages in a, uh, in a uh, scan with the document feeder. Okay, now, up here, you have to put in the number of physical pages you're scanning. Okay, not number of pages double-sided, but if I have five physical pages, I put in five. Not ten for the double-sided double -side scanning. Five. Okay. You select double sided, then you put your pages into the scanner and do the first five pages, the front. Okay. Then after that is done, you put the pages, you turn the pages over in the scanner 
select reverse, and then scan again. You will see thumbnails over here of your pages. And you'll get pages 1, 3, and 5 in this case. And then in the second scan, you'll get 2, 4, and of course a blank page for 6. But if you, ca if you catch my drift, what, it's, what it will do is put the pages in order for you as long as you tell it how many pages you have. The program is also able to do uh, OCR scanned pages. Uh, it works very well. I've tried it. And there just isn't too much here this program can't do. And I think for libraries who are uh, or that are in this squeeze of there you don't have the volume of traffic on your copiers to warrant a great big large commercial one the uh, the ones for small offices that you can buy at Staples or Best Buy places like that for under five hundred dollars heavens what I just used here was about uh, hundred and fifty dollars on sale at the most so it can be done and this can save you a lot of money a few years ago, I would not have recommended this because these lightweight machines wouldn't take too much uh, traffic. But the traffic now just isn't there. Okay, I hope you have found this informative. And if you have any uh, questions, I'll have uh, my email in the notes below. Thanks for watching.